I am in beautiful, sunny, green Mari Vale. Now, Mari Vale is a sort of marshy area on the Blaisbox Sprate uh, near a town called Nigel, which is southeast of Johannesburg. And I'm here today to photograph birds and just to see how the place looks after the recent rain we've had, quite a lot of rain. So the water level is high, the grass has gone green overnight and seems to have grown six inches and the place is looking beautiful. Now, being summer, the light is obviously quite harsh and it's only nine o'clock in the morning and uh, there's already strong shadows everywhere. So not great for photography, but hopefully this afternoon we'll see some thunderclouds roll over and that light sort of go diffuse or dim a bit and the shadows soften up and that that really does work well for photography but either way i'm glad to be here it's lovely and green i can smell it it's fantastic beautiful grassy smell of uh, summer in south africa High summer here in South Africa and Maryvale is green, green, green. The rain's fallen, the grass has come up, the butterflies are out, the flowers are out, and I'm out trying to photograph it all. Whoa, well the sun is beating down out here. It's 32 degrees in the shade, it's 1.30 in the afternoon, and I'm as red as a lobster, no doubt. So I've had to change what I photograph. I can't photograph birds anymore because Oh, the light's terrible. So instead, I want to try and find subjects like flowers, insects, that I can control the lighting conditions a little bit on. And the way I'm going to do that is by using a polarizer to eliminate all the reflections on the foliage, or most of them. And the second way is by using one of these, a diffuser or reflector. And I'm going to hold it over my subject, and that's going to eliminate the strong contrast and the strong shadows give me a lovely soft photograph. I'm sitting with a black-headed heron, a hunting black-headed heron in the long grass. When you come across a bird like this, and you're close to it, it's always worth waiting, because if you're patient, you might see it with a kill, something like a snake, a lizard, a frog, a mouse, a rat, even another bird. They're aggressive hunters, and well worth watching if you get the chance. Normally they don't let you get this close, but this guy seems very comfortable with my presence, so I'm going to stay and watch him a while. Well, the light's much softer now, and it should be because it's five in the afternoon and the clouds have rolled in, the summer afternoon clouds. It's a beautiful sort of warm, soft shadow over everything. 
that looks really nice. And I'm just moseying along the embankments, checking out what's around, and have come across a lovely little egret that's preening itself. It looks gorgeous in this light. Those white feathers just pick up a little bit of that warmth, and the dark water behind him really set them off. You may have noticed something a little bit different about Mari Vale compared to most South African nature reserves. That's right, I'm walking in it, which is really unusual because most of the time there's a lion, a leopard, or an elephant, or a rhino that is uh, either wanting to eat you or stamp on you. So being out in the grasslands here on my own two legs is a bit of a treat actually. Quite often the photography in South Africa is done from a vehicle because that's the only place of safety. But out here we can really get into the uh, into the little things. Dragonflies, grasses, flowers, all of that kind of stuff that we can't do when we visit somewhere like Kruger. Oh, that was good. So good. Oh, It's sundown time at Murray Vale for me and for the birds. And uh, as the sun slips slowly into the west, uh, I'm going to mosey on out, just taking it easy and seeing what I can get in this last of the light and last of the opening time. And this beautiful, cool evening that's rolled in, thankfully, for me and for the birds. They're taking it easy as well. So uh, yeah, it's been a great day at Murray Vale. Really, really beautiful, lush, wet, lovely, rainy, rainy fed grass, green. And uh, even though it was hot, 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 32 degrees at, sun, sun, uh, at lunchtime, and uh, the light was terrible, I pushed on through and came out the other side to this glorious afternoon in South Africa.